we want to discuss about uh, how God have been, you know, working with man right from the time of creation. We can clearly understand how God works. You know, if you can understand how God have worked with man at various points uh, in history. It's a uh, God can be understood from the works of God. You can understand God to a very big extent, though our God is unpredictable. Our God is a uh, you cannot really define God in totality, but from what God has been doing and from how God has been working, at least we can get a glimpse of who God is and uh, the operations of God. So this teaching is titled Understanding the Operations of God. Uh, right from the book of uh, Genesis, at the creation of man, the first man that was created, the man Adam, God placed Adam in a garden called the Garden of Eden. And then in that garden, God made a woman and brought a woman to Adam and asked Adam to dress the garden. And in the garden, there were three kinds of trees there. The tree of life, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and the tree that was good for food. And then the Lord now instructed man. Man, this is my will. My will is that my choice or my will is that you should eat the tree of life. But God will not force man to do his will. God has left man to do as man pleases. Which is why Revelation, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19, he said, I call heaven and earth to record these days against you that I have set before you life. So God set before Adam life in the garden. And death, and death was also there. Before, before Adam. He said blessing and cursing. There was blessing for Adam. There was curse for Adam. Therefore, choose life. So God gave man the power of choice. Choose that both you and thy seed should live. But Adam made an expensive choice. Through the influence of the, of the devil, the old serpent, Eve was influenced and enticed and seduced, deceived to, you know, eating the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The same tree, the fruit of the tree that God asked them to touch nor eat. Amen. So Jehovah from creation allows man to do his as a man will. But one thing must understand that each time that man have neglected God's will and made his own choice, man has always paid for it. And we see, we saw that in the book of Genesis. Because at the long run, chapter 3 of Genesis, man lost the Garden of Eden. God drove man away from the Garden of Eden and placed an angel with a flaming sword to keep the way of man from the garden. So, we always make our choice, but every choice that man make, man will always pay for his choice. Pay dearly for his choice. The second scenario in the scripture, in Genesis chapter 6, when the Lord looked at the whole world and God saw that every way of man was perverted, man became continually corrupted and the Lord regretted for creating man. But the Bible says, Noah found favor with God and the Lord asked Noah to build an ark. And Noah went to preach to the people. To live their evil ways as God will have them do. But the people neglected what God, the will of God and the choice of God. They refused to listen to Noah. Noah completed the ark, went to the ark with two tools of every living creature. But the people neglected him. The will of God was to preserve them through the ark of Noah. But they refused. They rejected it. And God allowed them. What happened? At the long run, at the time Noah had entered into the ark, what happened? The flood came. Mighty flood came upon, upon creation. The flood of water came. And then the people, they drowned. They drowned. They saw the water level rising. And when it was too late, they wanted to, to, they wanted to enter the ark, but it was still. They paid for it. Only Noah and his six and his three children, sons and their wife were saved. Every other creation. So man have always, you know, had him or herself to blame at the long run, for the choice that man made. Amen. Man, I will pay for choice. Another example, Genesis 19, in the, in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, 
the Lord's choice at the point was that he was going to destroy Sodom. And he wanted people to come out because the sin was too much. What did God do? God sent an angel to Sodom to go and tell them, your sin is come out. When the angel came, no one went and declared to the people, see, God is going to destroy this city because of our evil. The people didn't listen to him. At the point, they wanted to come and commit homosexuality with the angels because gay marriage did not start today. It is not the will of God, but that is the choice of men. God created a man and a woman. He said, for this cause, will a man leave his father and his mother, and they shall join together and shall become one flesh. The will of God is one man to one wife. Solomon made his, made his, own, made his own choice like every other person. And at the point, every David also made his choice. What happened? Solomon married 700 wives and 300 concubines. And Solomon paid dearly for it. He paid how? Dearly he paid for it. Solomon paid dearly. And what happened? The nation of Israel was split into two kingdoms. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Because of what? Because of the choice of a man. Sodom was destroyed. against Because of what? The people made their choice against God. So man have always had his way. But man had always paid dearly. You know, for going his way for choosing what he wants to do against what Jehovah you know you know you know what at the point in Israel God has designed that he is their king but the people will not have king like nations but the people made their choice they said no we want the king like other nations God allowed them they made their choice but what happened to them the same king brought them troubles the same king brought them trouble so whenever man may and remember when men opt for their choice God allows them to make their choice but God knows that they will pay for it. But God will not compel them. He can only suggest his will to them. Hallelujah. And that is what God has come to do. Suggesting his will to man. But allowing man to do what? To make a choice. Look at the man called Balaam. The will of God for Balaam was not to go. To answer, to honor the invitation of Balak. To curse Israel. But Balaam made his own choice. To go. And God gave a permissive. You know, you know, you know, when you make up the mind to do what you want to do, what does God do? Sometimes God give a will, a permissive will. They go, when God asked him the third time, when God tell no, no, at the long run, he went on a permissive. That was not a perfect will of God. And even when the angel of God interrupted him, wanted to kill him, he escaped, he didn't return. He was still hell bent going to where? To Balaam to go and do the assignment to get the glory. But what happened? And the long run, Balaam died a very shameful death. And that is why the Bible says, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 to 8, he said, he said, he said, he said, yeah, he said, be not deceived. God is not monk. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to his flesh shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. So is your choice. Balaam made his choice. Balaam later was killed by the Israelites among the Moabites. He died a shameful death, even as a prophet. So man had always paid for his choice. God does not compare. God didn't force Balaam not to go. Balaam went because that was his will, but he paid dearly for it. And it has been that way. Man has various small points has continued to work to pay. Look at what happened in the time of Jeremiah. God wanted, God knew that calamity was going to come upon the people of, Je of, of Judah. And what did God do? God told Jeremiah to go and warn them, to go and reveal his will to them. What is the will of God? The will of God is that they should turn from their apostasy. But they ignored the will of God, continued the way they wanted, against the will of God, as declared them by the prophet Jeremiah. What happened to them? Calamity befell them. They paid dearly for it. And now let's go back to our own nation, Nigeria. In the year 20, the run up to the election, 2015 election, we published a magazine titled Avoiding Past Mistake in 2015 election, the Grace Update magazine. We were all over this nation trying to warn the church through every means available. But we were neglected. Nigerian despised. The choice of God was for good luck to continue. The choice of God was for good luck to continue. The confab had already been concluded. The document of the confab was there. Good luck told the Nigerian. Now, make a choice between light and darkness. If you allow me to vote me and bring me back after the 2015 election, the first thing I'm going to do, I will sign the national conference, the confab into law. And if the confab was signed to law, 
every evil we are seeing today and all the nonsense happening today, it would have not happened. But they also vowed that and we, they, that the they, 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 they confab will not be signed to law. And what did they do? They also influenced the church, especially the church in the southwest. And they brought striber sentiment and all manner of nonsense. And what happened? We made our choice. It was we that chose Buhari. And now the evil is before. I want to run away. Where are we running to? Now you want to go to Dudua. You want to go to Biafra. We did it. We all we paid. We we are the one that brought it. It was Buhari was the choice of men, not the choice of God. God they didn't choose Buhari. Nigerians chose Buhari. Nigeria rejected the choice of God. And then they made their own choice. And good luck left the path for them. And look at where we are today. Look at where we are today. We would have not all this nonsense, all this agitation for old Dudua. It would have not been there. The comfort was a document that would have led to the new Nigeria. But we rejected it. We decided to go to believe the takias of, 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 the, of the caliphate. And look at where we are today. In the last election in the U.S., presidential election in the U.S., the choice of God was for Donald Trump to continue. But what happened? The people rejected the choice of God, the will of God. And what they do? They enforce their own will. And who is their will? Joe Biden. And they are beginning to see now. The American will pay for it dearly. They will dearly pay for it. She, Joe Biden is now bringing the Muslim, opening uh, the, 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 every border to all the Muslim countries to come and continue their evil. Or the hitch rise fast on, 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 on the speed now in America. And they will pay for it. Look at it now. Gay marriage. All manner of nonsense. The, the LGBT has been, has been welcome, abortion, everything. Every good thing of American, they are reversing. So that American can be enticed to destruction. Hallelujah. But the Lord is on the throne. And the Lord has going to instruct us. Amen. For the country Nigeria today, despite what is happening, the will of Jehovah is for Nigeria to live and not die. The will of Jehovah is to send revival. Rakes battle axis, collapse Islam, and use Nigerians to restore all other nations taken over by Islam and prepare the global church for revival and for rapture. As a matter of fact, the church in North Africa is waiting for Nigerian, the saviors that will arise. Because the Bible says, on Mazar, there shall be deliverance. The North Africa, all the North African nations that were formerly Christian countries, that Islam took over down to the Arabia, Syria, you know, all the Arabian Peninsula, down to the European nations that the Ottoman Turk took over. They are waiting for the Savior from the Nigerian church. The will of God is that Islam will collapse in this nation. The will of God is the collapse of Islam. You understand when we begin to read our books, such as understanding what the Spirit of God is saying to the church is now. Written by myself, Moses of Church, and God special. This book, I read, also understand what is God saying. God spoke in Asia Minor. He said something to them, Revelation 2 and 3, long, long, long before Islam even came to bed, but they didn't listen. They made their own choice. They made their own choice. And now is our own time to make our own choice also. It is time for us to decide. This is the time for all non fulani caliphate Nigerian to return to Jehovah. On unites and uproot the caliphate. It is not the time for any divided interest. If we can unite spiritually, politically, economically, and otherwise, we will uproot the fulani caliphate. Let us return to Jehovah. Unite, strategize, and enforce the will of God. Because we are the battle last of the Lord. When the revival comes, it will give birth to battle last. And you understand more what we are talking about from the book, The Coming Prophetic Collapse of Islam. The detail is there. How do we go about uprooting the full and the caliphate so that the will of God, because the will of God is that Islam will be buried in Nigeria. But unfortunately, many of us are making our choice. We want to split Nigeria. If Jehovah decides to allow us to have our ways, we must be ready to pay for it. We must be ready for the consequences. Whenever men reject the will of God, they will pay dearly for their own choice. May we not reject the will of God in the name of Jesus. This is the time for the Igbo, the Yorubas, and the Middle Bed people to unite politically, economically, spiritually. Amen. To pull down the Fulani Caliphate and not a time for separation agitation. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you as you continue to listen to us. I am your brother, Moses of Church, and God special. Our contacts are there. Our web contact and every other contact are there. You can get more details from our, 
our web page and our books are there that will help you to understand this thing more. When you go to our website, www.rightsunday.org, you get more. The Lord bless you. The Lord preserve you as you make up our mind to enforce the will of God in Nigeria. And the Lord 